Oh my god, Shreenu, this assignment is due on Friday. How am I supposed to get it done by then? I thought that we still had time. I'm, I'm working every day. Why don't you just get an assignment online then? What do you mean? Haven't you seen the ads on Insta? I get them all the time. Here, I'll show you. See? Just get an assignment online. You mean someone else is doing the assignment for me? Isn't that cheating? Nah, it's fine. Relax. You won't get caught. I haven't yet. Sound familiar? My name is Brendan, and I'm a student, just like you. And what these students were talking about is an example of contract cheating. Contract cheating involves getting someone else to complete your assignment, or part of your assignment, and then you submit their work as your own. It could even be someone sitting your exam instead of you, and you might pay for it, or you might not. For example, you get a family member to write your reflection for you, because you think your writing is not good enough. Or, your friend offers you their old report and you submit it as your own because you really struggle with the assignments, exams, or the unit generally. Or like in the example at the start, you pay an online service to write your essay for you because life feels too stressful to do it yourself. I know it might seem like an easy way to complete your assignments, but contract cheating goes against the reason you're at university. You're there to learn, to become a professional in your field of study, which entails honesty, trust, fairness, respect, and responsibility. This is why maintaining academic integrity in our studies is so important. By choosing to contract cheat, you damage the professional identity that you gain by going to university. Just like with your social identity, what you do can harm your reputation. If you do choose to contract cheat, do you really know what you're signing up for? At Western, contract cheating is a form of academic misconduct and would be considered under the student misconduct rule. Sanction outcomes can include failing the assessment or unit, suspension, or even expulsion from the university. It can also impact your ability to get into your profession if you graduate. And what if your course had a reputation amongst employers that students were dishonest because they engaged in contract cheating? Your degree might not count for much then. If you do get a job, your future employer might become frustrated when you are unable to do the work to the standards expected of a person with your qualification. Imagine getting legal advice from a lawyer who had someone else complete their criminal law assignment for them. And did you know that when you contract cheat, you could be signing up for blackmail? Yes, you heard right, blackmail. Website services that write assignments for you can demand additional fees after you hand it in and threaten to expose you to the university if those costs are not paid. By threatening to report your misconduct to the university, or to tell your future employer, these contract cheating services could even demand continuous, regular sums of money long after you graduate. If this were to happen to you, always come and tell the university so they can help you. So, do you really know what you're signing up for when you engage in contract cheating? In considering the personal, academic and professional consequences, including the possibility of blackmail, contract cheating is never worth it. I don't want to contract it, you know, but I'm genuinely stuck. Yeah. Have you tried talking to your tutor or your unit coordinator? It's probably good to talk to them and let them know you're stuck and see if they can help. Yeah, I mean, maybe I should, yes. Look, I just don't think there's any need to go to contract cheating websites or exchange study notes or materials. It's just not worth it. I mean, there are so many free support services at uni that can help us. Um, I know they're study smart. I know they can help you with planning your assignment and they can give us feedback on our draft assignments. Um, and I know they have librarians there that can help you with your resourcing and your referencing. Like I know I've used Mesh to help me with my maths before. So there are so many free support services there that can help us, you know, you should give it a go. Trust me, I know how hard it can be when we have so many assignments due and it seems like no amount of coffee or all-nighters will save us. Contract cheating is never worth it when there are so many ways to get help at the university. As Western students, we uphold values of integrity, honesty and responsibility for our learning. We've all been in tough situations, but we can't let contract cheating undo our hard work. So build positive relationships with each other and your teachers. Make the right decision. 
reach out and get the right kind of help. Contract cheating, it's not worth it.